It's taco time! Yep, that's right. Welcome back to another edition of The Fogo Life. I'm your host, Captain Ron. And what we're gonna do today is something totally different. Pork carnita tacos, that's right. But not just any pork carnita tacos. We're using pork belly and pork shoulder. Woo, can't wait. This is gonna be so good. If you're not drooling already, just thinking about it, something is wrong. The one thing that we're gonna do differently is normally we cut this up, we put it in here with some chicken stock, pepper, salt, and let that let it just braise like that. Well, no, we're a charcoal company. We wanna get some smoky flavor in there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this cuts of Boston butt right here. We're gonna put it over the top Ooh, over the top of this pot, let it smoke for about a half hour like that. Then we're gonna combine everything down into the pot, put the chicken stock in, let it braise for a couple hours, but that's not it. Once that's done, we're gonna take it off, we're gonna finish it off in cast iron, give it that nice, crispy, little crunchy stuff for those carnita tacos. Now, we've got our starters in our blazer ball, so we're gonna let, get this baby lit. This thing is great for when you're lighting your fire because it allows you to put it in there, allows you to pile the charcoal on top and not have to worry about it getting put out. So, once it's lit like that, simply, Toss it in your grill. Now we're using this for a shorter cook, all right, maybe about two hours or so. We're gonna use our black bag premium charcoal. So let's load the big green egg up with this and let's get going. Now you can see what I did there. I already had some charcoal in there from a previous usage. What I did is just added some new charcoal in. Just because there's charcoal left from the last cook doesn't mean you can't use it. Reuse your charcoal that's in there. Wait, we're not done yet. You saw I put the half moon in there, I put the grate in there, but the other half is just wide open on the expander. Well, we've got this in there now. We sell this on our website. It's a cast iron half moon plancha. We're gonna use it both as a deflector and at the end, we're gonna use it to crisp up our carnitas. As you can see, that cast iron half moon fits perfectly in the expander system here. You can use it in a large, the grate, you can use them for Weber grills or anything like that. Like I said, they're available on our website. The link is down below if you wanna check it out. And now, back to the meats. Pork belly, that's right. We're gonna start with a pork belly. First thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take one half pound, that's a half a pound of pork belly, and just cut it into small chunks, like maybe one inch size chunks. And we're gonna put that right into our pot here. That's gonna cook in there the whole entire time. And that was the pork belly. We're gonna do something a little bit similar, but that different with the pork shoulder. This is the same as Boston butt pork shoulder. I, these are actually, I bought them like this. They're country style ribs. It's merely cut from the shoulder. So we're gonna cut these into chunks as well that we're gonna smoke. All right, the pork belly's in the pot. So next step, this usually calls for homemade. I always like to use homemade chicken stock. I ran out, I didn't have any. So what are you gonna do? So I got some nice chicken stock from Trader Joe's here. So we're gonna use one half cup of chicken stock. Then we're gonna use about two pinches of kosher salt right in there. And about a half a teaspoon of black pepper. We've got that in there. We've got our salt, pepper, chicken stock, everything like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this trusty grate here, put it over the top of my pot like that. Whoa! And place all this beautiful pork shoulder right on top here so that we're going to allow it to gather some smoke. Lastly, I'm gonna hit them with a little bit more kosher salt just over the top. Now what this is gonna do by cooking it like this, it's gonna allow this top layer of meat to catch some nice smoky flavor, but as it renders too, all those juices, all those fats, all those beautiful flavor, it's gonna drip down into the pot and just add to the flavor of our carnitas. So we're almost up to temperature. We're gonna hit 350, we're gonna throw it on the egg and let that just go for about a half an hour. Then we're gonna combine it all into the pot all together. Whoa, it's gonna be so good. I can't wait. All right, so I gathered my senses and I found a rack that's gonna actually fit on top of here a little bit better. This is just too big, it's almost unsightly, so we don't need something that big. So I'm just gonna set that right there. It's kind of nice, it's got these little notched legs, so it kind of sits on there and it can't even move. So I'm just gonna transfer all of this beautiful pork shoulder right over to this rack here. Now we're at 350 degrees, so we're gonna put this on the indirect side. I mean, they are actually both indirect sides. I'm just gonna put that on there, close it up, and let her cook. And we're back to springtime in South Florida. So as you can see, it's a beautiful rainy day out all of a sudden, but that's okay. That's not gonna stop us. So what we got going is we got our meats here. Now check this out. Look at the color on these things. The beautiful red right here. You know when you get your smoke ring? That's what that red color is on the outside there. So we're gonna dump this in the pot now, cover it up. We're gonna let that cook for uh, about another probably hour and a half, maybe two hours even. Mixed up all together in there now. Now what's gonna happen, this is gonna braise down. This is all gonna be shreddable basically at the end. So we're gonna put our lid on like that. Now we're gonna let that go for about another hour and a half. Let all those beautiful juices soak into that meat. Let that cook down. Like I said, it's gonna be nice and shreddable at the end. Whoa, it's gonna be so good. Can't wait. What I wanna do here is keep this in true street taco fashion. So we're not gonna go crazy with all kinds of salsas and everything like that. But I'm gonna keep it nice and simple. I'm gonna make a little mixture of some white onion. 
a little bit of lime juice, and some cilantro. We're gonna chop, we're gonna put it all together in a bowl, let that meld together for about a half hour before we put this on there. Mwah, a little salt and pepper, it's gonna be delicioso. Here, the last thing we're gonna put on our tacos is some cheese. I don't wanna use shredded cheese, no. Like I said, we're gonna stick with street tacos type stuff here. Normally I would use cotija cheese, we couldn't find any. Our stores are all out of it right now. So, what I got here instead, is some queso fresco. We're just gonna crumble it up. Just gonna put a little bit across the top. Well, I have good news. We are ready to go to the next level of our cook here. What we're gonna do now is take the stuff out of that beautiful pot that's in. Just gonna take a whole bunch of this out. Juices and all. Oh yeah. Now what you wanna do is smash this down. Make it into little shreds. You can leave some chunks, but you wanna smash it down and spread it out because we want it to get nice crisp edges. See now, see the way it's getting a little bit nice and brown and crispiness to it? You see that there? That's what we're looking for. So, we're gonna pull this off of here. Oh yeah, perfect heated up tortillas. So we're going to throw them right on that plancha as well. All right, let's build some tacos. Take that, get some nice carnita meat here. Oh, ho, ho, ho. so crunchy and crispy. I love it. We're going to take some of our onion cilantro lime mixture. Now let's grab the cheese. Finishing touch. We got some limes that we grilled up here. You gotta get that nice char in there. What that does, it caramelizes them, brings out the sweetness in it. Put a little bit more lime juice on top. <laughs> I can't wait anymore, folks. I have to take a bite. Oh yeah. Mm. If you don't make this, you're doing yourself a disservice. You're doing your family a disservice. This is, I mean, this is outstanding. If they served this in any taco place around here, I would eat there every day, I swear to you. The crunchiness from that pork, the, the fattiness that comes through, the, that onion cilantro mixture we made, and that just a little bit of lime juice, man oh man. You know the cheese, you can do it with or without it. I personally like it. Some people will argue, hey, that's not a real street taco. I like it, so I do it. So go ahead and make these. Listen, while I got you here, don't forget, if you like what you saw here, subscribe to our channel, all right? Give us a thumbs up. It doesn't take but a second. Give us a thumbs up, it helps out our channel. Give us a thumbs up, leave a comment down below. Let us know what you think. Also. If you saw any products that we used in this video and you like them or you're interested, I put a link down below. You can find them all on our website. So until next time, enjoy your tacos. Carnitas, double pork carnitas with pork belly just can't be beat. Number one in my book. So remember to get out and grill and I will see you the next time on The Fogo Life.